Hey guys, even here and we have a physique update of uh, guess who? Yeah, Phil Heath. Phil Heath once again. Every once in a while he posts something like this. A video of himself, usually in a tank top, under great lighting with a with arm pump or shoulder pump or chest pump or something like that. And he looks huge, but then we saw him in some other photos in a regular shirt under a regular lighting. And he looks nothing like this. He looks like he lost all of his gains. But then, after that, he posts something like this again. And then again we see him in a regular shirt. And it's a never-ending cycle, it's a never-ending circle and uh, we have no idea what he's actually looking like, but here we can see that if this is a recent uh, video, he looks huge. I guess it's some kind of rich piano philosophy. Gotta confuse the fans. <laughs> you gotta confuse the fans. And um, basically, I mean, yeah, Phil Heath is that kind of a dude. I mean, when he's posing, he really gives all of him to look, to look perfect. But when he's relaxed, when he's just taking a photo, he doesn't care. He has nothing to prove. So here you can see that he is on. He looks big. He looks huge. But don't be surprised if I make a video, another video, saying that he looks skinny, because now I'm gonna do that if he makes another photo of himself looking skinny. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post his physique updates and I'm gonna tell you what I think, what I see. And right now I see that he's huge, and it seems more and more like he's gonna make a comeback. I'm not gonna ask you guys what do you think, if he's gonna make a comeback or not. I asked you this so many times before, so um, this is just an update, just a physique update of Phil hit. If you were wondering what he's looking good today, this is his most recent story on his Instagram, and this is his physique right now. He, he's huge, he's full. He didn't lose a goddamn thing, and he's trying to, to relax, you know, he's not even trying hard to progress. Once he really steps on that gas pedal, once he really tries to, to progress, to come bigger, fuller, harder, and everything, that's gonna be a huge progress and potentially the best field hit we ever saw. I mean, he didn't take a break for like 10 years or something, for a long, long time. Now he's fresh, he's relaxed, his body's gonna respond better if he decides to compete again. Hopefully he will. And the biggest question, of course, is his midsection. Will it be fixed? That's the only question, pretty much. But even if he doesn't fix that, that, that stomach, even if his hernia is still there, and his stomach is a little bit distended, I think, I think he will still be able to beat everybody in that lineup. And Brandon Curry as well, I think he's a much better bodybuilder. But I'm gonna make a separate video about that, probably, in the future. Let's go with the next story. Alright, so next we have Ronnie Coleman posting an obviously photoshopped photo of himself. I'm not sure why he did it, I'm pretty sure he didn't uh, photoshop it himself, but it is absolutely obvious that this is photoshopped. Just look at that left leg and look at the curtains b behind him, they are bending. I mean, I'm sure that Ronnie is so huge that he's bending the space a little but uh, not this big. <laughs> Here you can see, obviously, I mean, this is, this is Photoshop, this is Photoshop. He wrote a caption, uh, a lengthy caption, and I'm sure everybody read it because everybody was thinking that he may say something about this photo being Photoshopped, but he didn't mention that at all. He doesn't need to Photoshop his photos, he's still the best bodybuilder of all time. So why? Why did he do that? Not so long ago, Phil Heath posted a photoshopped photo of himself and he claimed that he didn't even notice that somebody else photoshopped it and he didn't even realize that it was photoshopped. But this one is obvious, Ronnie knows that this is photoshopped, that's what I think. I think he just posted it for the comments, for the comments and for the shares and for the sake of somebody making a, a video about it or something. So he, he wrote a book and he's trying to promote it, he wants to earn more money, which is reasonable, I have nothing against that, uh, but it was, uh, it was curious for many people what happened here. You can check the, the, the comment section, everybody is confused and everybody is wondering why did he post a photoshopped photo of himself. He did it for, for, the, for the interaction, he did it for the comments, for the likes, or, I mean there are no dislikes here, but for the, for the controversy, for the drama for some traction, right? He's a retired bodybuilder, he is the best in the world, but not many people actually care about him that much nowadays, as much as they would if he was a competitive bodybuilder. He's retired, he needs to make some kind of traction, and he wants to sell his book. Is it lame what he did? Maybe a little, but do I have anything against this? Hell no, hell no, who cares? Who cares, I mean, what he posts? 
We all know that he won eight Mr. Olympia titles very, very decisively. He's the greatest of all time and he can do whatever the hell he wants. Nobody cares, really. Uh, I'm not offended by it or anything like that. And here is a, a video of himself training once again. I'm sure he's training every day, but he doesn't take videos of himself every day. He knows that once he posts videos like this, there will be a lot of hate in the comment section. Everybody will be telling him to stop training, to stop hurting himself, but he will never stop. And so he uses this opportunity to promote his uh, book, to promote uh, whatever he's selling and uh, try to earn some more money. So here he made a video of himself doing some dumbbell shrugs. After a couple of reps, he stops his set and he uh, promotes his book. Man's gotta make a living, man's gotta make a living, guys. He's using any opportunity to promote himself, to promote his brand. Ronnie Coleman, it's, it's a huge brand. He, he, yeah, he was saying I'm Mr. Olympia champion and uh, that brought him a lot of stuff in his life. But right now he's retired and all he can do is promote the name, the Ronnie Coleman name, the Ronnie Coleman brand and uh, sell, sell stuff, earn more money. So I'm fine with that. Even if he's photoshopping his photos for more traction, I'm okay with that. I have nothing against that. He's the king. He's the greatest of all time. And you guys, you know, go ahead and buy his book if you want to read it. Oh yeah, as far as should he be training today, I'm sure somebody will comment something about that, so I wanted to say, I wanted to say what I think about it. I think um, his ego is too strong at this point, he cannot let it go, his personality is all about bodybuilding, he cannot find joy in other things, like Dorian was able to, I think he should let it go and find, uh, find joy in other activities other than bodybuilding, because it's not healthy for him at this point. Some working out is good, definitely, but not, not bodybuilding. That's what I think. Some of you are like, he enjoys it, and if he dies because of it, so what? It's not like that, you cannot say that, so what? What do you have if you die? You have nothing. So, uh, he should actually find something, something that can uh, actually bring him more pleasure than bodybuilding, or just as much. It's possible, he needs to reinvent himself. But it's very, very hard. Only, only strongest people can do that. And Dorian Yates did it. So I respect him for that very, very much. All right, enough about Ronnie Coleman. Let's go to a smaller division, to smaller guys, such as uh, Chris Bumstead right here. So this is his most recent physique update. Uh, apparently, he has been going slow. He said that he wasn't really pushing the, the food as much. He was eating big, but not as big as he would be eating when he's trying to grow. And he says that he's motivated more than ever to make some progress. Of course, he's right there within the weight cap, so he can't really grow much more muscle. What he needs to do is just, you know, stay this, this way, not push anything, not mess with his health, because you guys know he has those kidney health problems. So he should actually just, you know, stay like this. He's probably off the stuff, probably cruising or something. And he needs to you know, stay like this when it comes to, to Mr. Olympia prep. He just needs to come a little bit fuller and conditioned. And that's enough. He doesn't need to grow. He doesn't need to fix anything pretty much. Sure, his back could be bigger and his, uh, his biceps, sure. But, but if he tries too hard to improve his physique, which is already a Mr. Olympia winning physique and will probably not be uh, dethroned for who knows how long, if he tries hard and he injures himself, for example, has a, has a tear. Imagine him having a bicep tear. His biceps are already horrible. He has horrible insertions. If he tears that, that bicep even more, I mean, I don't know if this bicep can get any worse, but imagine if he tore a lat. You know, his lats are his basically signature. His wee taper is what he's actually bringing him all the victories. If he tears his lat muscle, that would definitely destroy him. He would not win the Mr. Olympia again. So in my opinion, he should take it easy. He should just focus on his preps. He can have all the fun that he wants throughout the year. And I think that's the smartest approach for him. Because of those kidney problems and because he is within the weight cap, he doesn't need to grow. What do you guys think? Down down below in the comment section. All right, and for the end of this video, the last story is about Anton Valiant who is actually 330 pounds right now. And he's actually asking us a question in his description of this photo. Should he go to 350 or start the prep right now? What do you think? Tell him in his comment section or you can tell me down below. But basically he got huge. He got enormously big.
I'm really curious to see what he's gonna look like once he gets shredded because this guy has some really good muscle bellies and he grew a lot, he's huge right now, it's crazy. So guys, tell me what you think about uh, everything in this video, whatever you want to talk about, tell me down below. I'll try to read all the comments, I usually skim them all, I don't reply to every single one because it would be too much work. So guys, thank you so much for watching, we are reaching the 20k, 20 20,000 subscribers, so that's a big milestone. Please subscribe if you haven't already, let's get to that 20k by the end of the day, maybe? Thank you so much guys for all the support and uh, all the views and subscribers and everything. Uh, once again, thank you so much. Please like the video and uh, all the best guys. Bye bye.